I don't have any memory of the, the day that my incident happened, but um, I wouldn't, wouldn't be here if my mates um, didn't know first aid. We turned up for training, um, got the boys underway with some, some touch rugby, and then uh, Dave, was, Dave was running the shuttles with the boys, and yeah, at one stage it looked like he was finished, and um, that's when the, when the action happened. He went down on, his, down on his knees like this, and um, as you do when you're wrecked after a lot of training, I thought he was taking the mickey a little bit. That's when we yeah, yeah, ran over and, ran and over. Yeah, checked on him and yeah, it didn't look good. We sort of counted how long the, the time was between breaths and as that got longer and longer it's sort of like we needed to do something and that was when me and Chris started CPR and then Hassie joined in with the operator who then talked us through it all. Yeah there was certainly that sort of panic around where is the nearest device because we're going to need it. I knew there was one at the, the service station so I sent one of the boys to get there but later on we found out that there was one closer at the tennis club behind us. My heart stopped for 26 minutes. The three guys that knew first aid, they kept me alive until um, first responders um, got there. You can have good mates but if they don't know, you know, first aid then yeah, I wouldn't still be here. I think if you don't uh, know where a defibrillator is, then you can do CPR and ha have all the first aid training in the world. Um, you might still not be able to save someone's life. If there wasn't a defibrillator, it might have been a very different story. We just need defibs in the community. That's, you know, plain and simple. You, you never know when you'll need it until it might be too late. We're very lucky that the, the club has um, went straight out and, and purchased one of these devices. Um, who knows how much easier this would have been um, for Dave if, if we'd had easy access to that, mm. that machinery, yeah. And that importance is invaluable, but yeah, I don't really put a price on that. He always brightened up a room when he walked in anyway, but now it's got like an extra level on top, like seeing him, you sort of treasure it a bit more just because of what he's been through. The boys are a lot closer than what they were before, maybe we'll just do a pre-season trip next time. <laughs>